Hi guys, it's me Akhil. Today I'm going to show you how to make changes in VRay render setup. Okay, just open 3DX Max and let me to make some objects in viewport. Okay, just make a T-board here. Okay, just change that color like light blue. Okay, and just make a VRay play here. Sorry. Uh, re-ray, re-ray plane, just make it here and change that color as light gray ok just upgrade in camera view, just make it camera ok ok now take a rental okay now you can see that your object and it's in by default light okay let me do add a VR light here stop view in lights choose VRay and just the light just make that VR light in viewport and just align that VR light Okay, get the camera view. I will take a render, and you can't see anything in your render because the render setup is not going to the VR render setup. Okay, let me do, do that in rendering, render setup, common, just scroll down, and in ascent render, I'll pick it on that. In production, just click here and choose V-Ray Advanced make it OK and go to V-Ray and OK in global switches lighting default light just make it off and scroll down V-Ray Adaptive DMC Image Sampler here OK it's good V-Ray environment just check it on all three ok V-Ray color mapping in here linear multiply change this to exponential and check it on the sub-pixel mapping ok and it's ok in V-Ray camera nothing to do in indirect illumination V-Ray indirect illumination GI just check it on and ambient occlusion also on primary bounds in radiance map and secondary bounds may change to light cache and V-Ray radiance map in here current reset is default high just make change to very low ok and it's all done and in light cache just check it on show calculation space and here is also good and that's all in render setup ok now make a render here again now you can see that changes here Okay, the light flow and shadow is very nice. Okay, that's much in this video. If you want to see more tutorial about 3DX Max or V-Ray, just subscribe my YouTube channel. And it's me, Akhil, signing out.